Hi, Ben Reed today here with Mr. Quick out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, today we're going to be going over what a 100 amp panel looks like and some issues caused within, common issues on everyday homes. Um, so today we got called out to look at the issue of a trip breaker uh, that will not reset and then sparking with inside of a panel on the top and within the panel itself. So starting with the sparking issue, if you take a look at the main top of your panel here where these connectors are at, all of the connectors should have Romex inside of the panel, no loose wiring on the tops here. So when I say Romex, that's that coating on the outside here. It can either be an old cloth coating or it can be a newer version which is made out of rubber and plastic. Um, all of that should come at least an inch into the panel here. So the, what happened for the sparking on the inside and the outside, as you can see with the black marks, if you can get in here to take a look, you see where it's turning real black and it looks like that connection is breaking off right there. Um, that is where you connect to a wire and you end up crushing that wire. So it's gonna start send sparking and send signs of overheating back to the breaker. Therefore, it can trip itself. Um, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to get this Romex connector changed out here and uh, get all the coating into the panel to have safety going forward. Um, the cause of a breaker tripping. There can be diff several different options going forward upon this. This breaker right here is running to the back and the bottom going out the back side right here to this UF wire. UF wire is regulated wire on that gray coating right there that is made for going outside and underground. So it is temperature rated and water sealed. Therefore, you don't have to put it in piping. Um, where it is tripping, we're gonna have to go down in the crawl space and take a look at what all it's going to and see if we have a loose connection or if it's touching metal somewhere, or if it's been cut. So we're gonna take a look at that. But starting with a 100 amp panel, um, it does look like you have a newer 100 amp panel installed here. Um, all of your connections coming in look good. So your 100 amp comes in at the bottom here on your three main lines. You'll have your L1, your L2, and your neutral. Testing between your L1 and your L2 using my meter reader, you should see between 240 and 250 volts. We do have 248 volts coming into the home, so the power coming in is looking good. Coming off your L1 to your neutral on the left side over here, you should have 120 to 130. We have 124 volts, so the power coming in on the first leg is looking good. So a whole home breaker panel, um, as easy as it might sound, is very complex. Um, your bus bar runs behind your, all of your breakers going out to your house. So the main power comes in at the bottom here and runs up a metal bar called your bus bar. And it, all your breakers connect to that bus bar. And then off of there, it spreads out the branches of your home. Now it could be designated rooms or like a dryer or a water heater, they need to be on their own breaker. So to tell where something's going and to not have a labeled panel, um, we can come through and label that for you. We'll go room by room and see what all is labeled and what is not and make sure everything's correct for you. But the importance of having everything working correctly is that electrical problems, once one happen, it happens, it tends to lead to another. So always having your safety checked and having your panel up to code is a big importance. And going back to the frayed wires at the top here, that would not meet up to today's code. We always have to have Romex in the box. We need to have everything installed cleanly and nicely. That way, if someone does have to work in it down the road, they are not feeling afraid to put their hands within a panel. What are some telltale signs that you should not put your hands in your panel? One, if you don't know what you're doing, I would never just openly take off a panel lid and stick your hands in your panel. Now, if you have a little bit of a background in it and some knowledge in it and you feel comfortable doing that, go ahead. Some big signs of why not to do it is if you feel any overheating from the panel, that means that we've got some over usage of power in certain spots running through and possibly wires disconnected within a panel and reaching your panel in and having the panel grounding itself at that point in time will shock you. So to avoid that and just safety going forward, call a professional out, Mr. Quick. Another sign of not putting your hand in a panel is when you have the panel lid still on and you set a breaker, if you see a flash come out of the front of it or you hear a large ticking sound going on, that is a sign of your breaker arcing. And that means you have further problems maybe into the wiring or the breaker itself. So to call a professional out at that point in time as well. Whether it is your breaker panel or your meter box on the outside of your home, if it ever is loose as a whole unit, 
always just leave it how it is at the point in time. Shaking it and moving it or taking any pieces of it apart will make the problem worse down the road. One, cost-wise. Two, safety-wise, which is the major priority here, to always have a safe household. So if, it, if it's not firm in the wall, just leave it and call someone out to take a look at it. Uh, one of the major signs that we're looking for as a professional looking in your whole home electrical system, looking in this 100 amp panel, the, one of the first things we want to look at is your bus bar behind your breakers. So a bus bar, the metal bar behind all of your breakers, will tell you whether or not your panel is wearing and tearing. Bus bars come in two different colors. It is this bar located right on the back here, the metal bar running up off of your main breaker. Um, they will come in either completely silver or com completely copper. This is a copper panel. Um, you don't see any wearing or tearing, so what you would see is either little black speckles or brown marks running through the whole thing, and that is just showing signs of heat marks, waving where oxygen has got in there and bowed the metal bar itself, or just an older panel that has seen its wear and tear throughout the days. Um, getting your panel replaced every 20 to 30 years is the standard lifetime of a panel within a home. Um, after that, you can't really guarantee the peace of mind going forward that everything in your home is going to run electrically sound since this is the main system everything comes back to electrically within your home. One thing to always keep in mind is that all of your home's energy runs on this bus bar back here, so never place your fingers anywhere near it. The spots within a panel that will hurt you severely to place your hand on is the bus bar which all the breakers are connected to with the prongs coming out, your main lugs coming in, so where this wire right here and this wire are connected to, and your neutral side lug over here. Never place your hands on any of that. Um, if you're not feeling comfortable or not certified to do the work, always call someone out.